In this lesson, you will learn about ordering decimals. So I have some decimals, a decimal set or a list of, of different decimals. I have two different sets. We'll do two different problems. So we have four and 35 hundredths, and I've written that here, four and 35 hundredths, four and five tenths, four and three hundredths, and four and 53 hundredths. These can be confusing because they have a lot of the same digits. But if we put them into a place value chart, it can be very easy. First, we compare from the left to the right. So we're going to compare the ones, but all of the ones are the same, so that doesn't help us. Now we're going to go to the tenths place. Let's order these, we'll go least to greatest. You have to be careful. Sometimes they want you to do greatest to least, but most of the time it's least to greatest. So we're looking for the smallest tenths. Well, zero is the smallest tenth. So this number, four and three hundredths, is the smallest number. So I'm gonna check that off that we've used it. Actually, I'm just gonna cross it out, okay? Then we look for our next smallest tenths. Well, our next smallest tenths is three. So this is our next, I'm sorry, our next largest tenth. Our next largest tenth is three. So our next largest number is four and 35 hundredths. Cross that out. Now we look for our next largest tenths, but they're both fives. So we have to now go to the hundredths place. In the hundredths place, I see a three and nothing. Well, in math, we represent nothing as zero. So this is zero hundredths and three hundredths. Zero hundredths is less than three hundredths. So this number, four and five tenths, is the next largest number, leaving our largest number as four and 53 hundredths. I like to check thinking about money. If I were to put a dollar sign in front of all these, this would be $4 and three cents. That's less than $4 and 35 cents. This would be $4 and 50 cents. That's bigger. And $4 and 53 cents is, is the largest. So it's one way to check your work. Okay, here's another set of numbers. We have one and, sorry, zero and 136 thousandths. We have five tenths, 36 hundredths, and nine hundredths. So the same process. We'll start in the ones place. All of them are zeros. So we'll go to our tenths place. What's my smallest tenths? Zero is. So my smallest number is zero and nine hundredths. My next smallest tenths is a one. So this is my next, sorry, my next largest number is tenths. So this is my next largest number, zero and 136 thousandths. Cross that out. My next largest tenths is a three. So my next largest number is zero and 36 hundredths, leaving five tenths as my largest number. So even though five is smaller than 136, it's actually larger than 136 thousandths. Five tenths is larger than 136 thousandths. So don't let just the numerals trick you. Make sure you put them into place value order and compare the place values before you put them in order. And that's the end of our lesson on ordering decimals.